Hello, sir. So do you. Thank you very much. I'm quite well. And I love this microphone. Anytime you see this microphone, you know it's going to be fun. Thank you. So everyone is talking about how you cracked everyone up on set. You made everyone crack. Really? Uh, you know, I also paid them to tell you that, but uh, those checks won't clear anytime soon. Uh, no, it was one of the most special experiences I've ever had a chance to be a part of. We filmed this in the middle of the pandemic when it was just pure fire and brimstone outside. So to leave our own bubbles that we were isolating in and to go to film one of the few movies that was up to up in production with each other, it took a lot of trust. And it but, you, but you got to quarantine. Quarantine in a train. Uh, yeah, <laughs> on a very tiny train car. And there are a lot of things you can learn, like how to kill someone with a tray table and armrest, I tell you. And it, it will come in handy. So did you get hurt at all? Oh, Jesus. On, Who's go. asking? Who's your lawyer? Uh, well, I heard this guy almost passed out. We all got our own little boo-boos. Yeah. Because we all wanted to get in there and do our stunts. Uh, and so, when, especially when it's David Leach, you want to do the stuff. He's like one of the most imaginative stunt coordinators and directors I've ever seen. So you want to get in there and do your stuff. And yeah, we, you're, you might get hurt. But it was all good. It looked good. So it was fun. So let's talk about a little two-hander with Jennifer Lawrence. Yes, yeah. It's a movie coming out uh, this fall uh, called Causeway. It'll be in Toronto. Yeah, in Toronto. And uh, it was an incredible experience. We also filmed that about two years ago. And to see it come to fruition is really great. Uh, Jennifer is just always on fire. She was really great to work with. Lila Newberger, who is an up-and-coming director, was great to work with. I've known her for years. We went to Yale together. So it was really nice to see her uh, direct something, her first feature, and to be a part of it. I always told her that any, anywhere you go, I'll be there with you. And the story is really great and uh, heartwarming. And, uh, and it's intense, though. How hard was it to go home after a day of that intensity and sort of wash it off? Well, it was just another production that I was fortunate enough to be on where the, the cast and crew really cared about each other and looked after one another. Because of the what these two characters, Jennifer and I, go through, they really took a lot of trust and love, and um, I really am grateful that I got to work with her on this. Eternals, number two. When do you start? I hope soon. I, I, I really had a blast uh, doing this. Also another family that I created. And it was just really great. Chloe was amazing to work with. Victoria Alonzo and Nate Moore are just one of the, some of the most imaginative people ever. And I had a great time playing fastest. I'd do it again. What did it feel like hearing from little kids who said, I'm queer, thank you very much? I was very honored. And I hope they know that I will be there to lead the way and champion them for all of that. I had a really great time playing fastest. It was an honor. It's a heavy responsibility, too, though. Yeah, it is. First, well, There's also a lot of responsibilities, not just to that, but also being a black man, uh, being a superhero. And I wanted to make sure that that was shown and showcased uh, in my portrayal. And it was a beautiful family. You had a beautiful family. Married husband, son. It was great. You know, the thing about Faustus is that he's eternal and he still found love and immortal. And that says something that he did that. And I'm just really grateful that I got to step in his shoes. Next season of Atlanta. What's the narrative? What could you tell me? We're back home. I think that everybody goes back home, and I think that that's what everyone wants to see is that we finally come home and that we win in our own way. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's another level up for them. How important was it to go back home? It's very important. I feel like I'm always trying to find where home is, especially in this cavalcade of what this is, you know. You've been in the last, three, what, two weeks, Berlin, London. I'm trying to figure it out, but I really realize that who I work with and the people that I've met along the way are home, and so I'm really grateful for it.